type is such a large part of the designs that we create. Right now I'm working inside of InDesign and I'm going to create a typographic poster. I'm going to begin by laying my poster out. I'm going to set my poster to 11 inches by 17 inches. This poster is going to be one page and I will set the columns to be a four column display. I'm going to set my margins to 0.125 inches. I hit create. I have my InDesign layout for my page. Now I want to go and find some interesting fonts. So I'm going to go to the internet and I am going to go to dafont.com. There are a lot of different places where I can go and get fonts from Adobe, 1001 fonts. For the sake of this project, let's take a look at how we would go about working with a free font. And we can see, we can download it, and we can also do demos. We always want to make sure that when we are using fonts that we check and see what the copyright is. So for instance, Monday is free for personal use. I can look a little bit closer and choose comic fonts, typewriter fonts, and I'm going to come to old newspaper type because it's 100% free. Most of these fonts probably actually came directly from a typewriter. So I have old newspaper types and I'm going to click download. I see my file has downloaded to my computer and I double click to open it up. And what I want to see is I want to open up the .ttf file. You may also end up with a .otf file. These are font files. And it's as easy as just clicking install font. I am working on a Mac and I can see that inside in my computer and users that I have an area where all of my fonts are stored. I come back to my project inside of Adobe InDesign and I'm going to grab my type tool and I'm going to create a type box on the top of my page. I am going to type typewriter. I can see that this is in a default font. I'm gonna zoom it on in here and I'm going to apply the font that I want to use. I can come to window and I am going to open up my types and tables and I'm gonna open up the character window and I am going to find the new font that I just added. Since I know the name of this font, if I just start typing in TYP, I will see that the new typewriter font that I added is right here. I added old newspaper types and there we have it. Now I can also take a look and make this larger and let's take a closer look at some of the tools that are inside of our character window. We begin with the font size, the point size, so we can make this larger. As we take a closer look, we can see we have our kerning. We would always use our kerning if we wanted to put space between two characters. If I wanted to space out all the same space between all of these characters, I would come and use the tracking. And I could click and add a little bit of space in between these letters. I can also work inside of InDesign with the vertical scale of my letters with the horizontal scale. And I can even get really specific about the slant. If I wanted to come in and change the color, I could do that as well. And there we have it. How we go about adding new fonts to our projects.